inherent vice. Now, inherent vice follows a, a PI who investigates the disappearance of his ex-girlfriend and also a business mogul. Now, there's a lot more to the story than just that, and I'll explain why later on in this review. But this is directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. Now, I'm not the biggest Paul Thomas Anderson fan. I do like some of his movies, like um, Magnolia and There We Blood, as my two favorites. And I think he's definitely a good director, but not one of my directors that I kind of relate to, in a sense, or find him as my favorite directors to go to. I'm more so a Christopher Nolan fan and other directors as well. And Paul Thomas Anderson has that type of style where it's very quirky and very artistic. So, and that's not really my cup of tea, so to speak, but I will enjoy a good flick from him. Now, going into this movie, I heard a lot of things, more so mixed. Some people loved it, some people said, eh, some people didn't like it. So I definitely wanted to check out for it myself. The trailers for me didn't really seem to excite me as much as going to see the movie. Because I thought the trailers were kind of so-so in my eyes. I gotta say, Inherent Vice is a very very entertaining movie. I mean, that goes without saying. I mean, you have a great cast. You got Joaquin Phoenix, Josh Brolin, Reese Witherspoon, and a boatload of others. I mean, it's pretty much an ensemble cast. And this is much like a, a dark comedy. And for a dark comedy, I found myself laughing a lot. Maybe because I got the jokes, but the comedy really did hit. And I gotta say, usually with Paul Thomas Anderson movies, I don't connect with them as much as other people do. Like, for instance, Paul, uh, Punch Drunk Love. I mean, I thought it was a good movie, but the comedy didn't really hit me as hard as this one. And like I said before, this is like a dark comedy, like much like as Birdman was, but this one had more punches to it. And I think that's the reason because of uh, Joaquin Phoenix, because he's already quirky and crazy as is. So I think he's perfect cast in the role. And he fits a Paul Thomas Anderson movie because he's worked with him in the past before. And, and this movie just shows that they have great chemistry together. Now, like I said before, this movie has a lot of storylines. Not to say storylines, more of avenues that this story took. It took a lot of them where it was kind of confusing or kind of hard to follow because it went there, it went there, it went there, it went there. And it was, for, one, for a person singing and watching this movie, it'd be kind of hard to follow because honestly, it's like, Paul Thomas Anderson's version of Christopher Nolan's Memento. That's how I felt watching the movie because if you missed a key element to a scene or to a line, you kind of feel a little bit lost because there's a lot of dialogue going on and there's a lot of areas that this movie took as far as character-wise, as far as plot lines, as far as overall direction. And I feel if it took some of it, some of those storylines out of the picture, I think it would have been a more cohesive movie. There are a lot of storylines and plot lines where I felt that, okay, you're, a little bit, you're doing a little bit too much with the story. Just keep it concise and straight to the point. But, you know, it's asking a lot from Paul Thomas Anderson because with his movies, you don't get the plain Jane type of straightforward script or movie from him. So I knew what to expect, but I felt that the storylines that he took with certain characters, I felt he could at least lever it down to a bit where it felt more cohesive. Now I know this is a, a movie that's adapted from a book, and from my, what I heard, this is not one of the most this is not one of the most adaptable books out there to do. But for what Paul Thomas Anderson did, I think he did a good job. But I felt that you know it could have been more the script could have been more concise. Other than that, I really had a good time with um, Inherent Vice, and I think if you're a Paul Thomas Anderson fan, I think you definitely will enjoy it. I think, I think also this movie bodes well for a second viewing in my eyes. I think to fully grasp what Paul Thomas Anderson was going for, I think it needs multiple watches. So with that being said, I had a good time with uh, Inherent Vice, not a great time. So I'm going to give Inherent Vice 4 out of 5 stars. Not a great movie, but a very entertaining and silent movie at best in my opinion. So with that being said guys, let me know what you guys think of Inherent Vice. Also, what is your favorite Paul Thomas Anderson movie? Comment below and let me know. So as always guys, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.